be a DLC scan just releasing. Look, look. I, I know y'all are not happy, but I told you. I tried to tell you that she was going to be a healer because you can't bring Kaguya without bringing the dimension shifting. You can't do, you can't go without it. That's so key for her. But yeah, as you know, Kaguya is going to be a healer. And your boy pretty much predicted the DLC verbatim everything. Besides one little change with the ultimate that ended up being a little different. But we pretty much predicted everything that was coming with Kaguya. So hey, we, we did good with that one. But, so we actually get into the breakdowns first, give a good shout out to Abdul for translating some of these, and I did some translations to see if some things would be different. But, when we actually get into the images, first thing, of course, you know, you're going to get the Master Unlock, and then you're going to get the 80 Gods Vacuum Fist. And basically, this is just basically going to be something similar to Barry and Barrage from what it looks like, but it looks like it's pretty stable. I don't know if you're going to be rushing forward or if it's just going to be a stagnant move similar to the Sage Art Thunder Lightning. And I wonder if this is going to be activatable in between attacks, so something similar like Genophis Body Blow or Strength of 100. I wonder if it's going to be like that, and I'm pretty sure they'll probably add an additional effect, maybe where it's, you know, unguardable, so it maybe breaks through your guard, or maybe it reduces, you know, ninjutsu. They're probably going to add something else with this, because the range for it doesn't look that far, but... Hey, this looks pretty nice. It looks like a pretty interesting jutsu. We move over to the next thing. It's going to be the outfit Kaguya 2. So this is probably going to be the outfit that she had whenever she at first came to the Naruto world. And she was, you know, dealing with all the villager people and they ended up betraying her and stuff like that. Which, you know, is a pretty interesting outfit to get for her. We move over to the next thing. We're going to get, oh, also we're going to get the substitution, which is going to be the Yomatsu Hidosaka. And... I predicted this and it looks like they're doing it the exact way I wanted them to do it. If you look at the image, it kind of looks like she's sneaking up behind Naruto in this screenshot and I kind of curious if this is going to get rid of the hard and soft locks and be something that you can pair up with the flying rise and slice to get that damage boost, but this is going to be pretty cool. I'm kind of curious how long you're going to be phasing through this dimension to actually be able to get the one up on your opponents. This is going to be a great substitution for healers and things like that when you're trying to get away from people. We move over to the next thing. We're going to get the ninjutsu all killing ash bones. And we pretty much predicted how this one was going to work with it having an additional status effect. But one thing that I did not predict was that you're going to be able to do additional input. If you see right here the translations from Abdul, it's looking like if you miss the rod, you can press an additional button to read aim it to hit them which is pretty interesting it's gonna be pretty cool it looks like it works pretty similar to jump force where you're just gonna be standing in one spot and maybe you can move and shift over and turn your body to shoot the rods and then maybe do the additional input but I wonder if this additional move is going to be from you having to press a button or if it's going to hop in automatically and I'm also curious what is the additional damage gonna be is it gonna be like poison or is this gonna be a new effect that they're given specifically for Kaguya which I think is gonna be pretty interesting with that and then we move over to the ultimate like I said they couldn't add Kage without the ultimate and it's gonna be the Amino Manaka and you see right here also from the translations from Abdul you're gonna get attack power speed and defense boost and you also get a unique strike so when you look here this is the one area where we were wrong at I believe in my video we predicted that we would get the ice realm and also the waiting realm because this would be super simple to do with waiting boulder but they surprised me and they made it into the lava and the ice realm which is pretty interesting and you're gonna get an additional attack now when I did my own translation it said something about pull nearby enemies in and this is why I think that this maybe might not control the whole map maybe it will be something more similar to like some Jujutsu Kaisen domain expansion where you pull the people in and the people that are nearby get shifted to that new realm. I'm curious how this is going to look from the outside from teammates that don't get caught in the ult if they do it this way. Is it going to look like, you know, like a big orb, like a domain expansion and then, you know, there's nothing you can do about it? Is this going to be a counter for Infinite Tsukuyomi kind of in a sense? Or is this actually going to change the whole map? If so, how is everybody going to fit in this area? Because when you look at the images, it looks like it's kind of similar. It looks like it's the hidden cloud map because it looks like they're on like a little platform with both of the worlds. So I'm just kind of curious how they're going to actually go about doing this. But I am so hyped that they actually implemented her dimension shifting and they didn't get lazy and just do a truth seeker orb. If we're being honest, this is what we needed. Kaguya needed to be a healer type. I know that range types really were expecting to get a DLC, and I know y'all have been starving hard, but you, there's no point in getting this character if we're not going to do it right. And I feel like with Shinobi Striker, this is one of the few DLCs that they have done absolutely perfect. 
This is exactly what Kaguya should have been like, and I'm happy for it. Moving over to the next awards, we're going to be getting a Shinobi Boost, of course, and we're also going to get the hairstyle Kaguya, which, I mean, kind of wonder how that's going to look. It's going to be pretty cool if it's, like, hanging all the way to the ground or something like that, or when you're jumping, if the hair floats up. That's going to be pretty cool. We move over to the next thing, it's going to be the Zetsu mask. This was something that we talked about. I said, you know, because she's the mother of Zetsu, we could get something with Zetsu, and we did. And you can even see in the images with Kaguya, Zetsu is in her sleeve, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if Zetsu is in the sleeve in the original Kaguya outfit that you get in Shinobi Striker. Let me know about that. They might make an alternate version that has Zetsu in it. But the Zetsu mask we'll probably get, I'm not sure if this is going to be the one that Obito was wearing whenever he first started getting used to his, you know, having the Hashirama cells and stuff like that. Or if this is going to be the mask from when Zetsu was young back in the past when he had like the little cap on that kind of looks like a hood. And then we're also going to get a Shinobi Boost thing. And then the last, uh, well, the honorary title is going to be Otsusuki Clan. So this is pretty interesting. I would have preferred uh, Rabbit Goddess, but... Honestly, these DLC scans got me extremely hyped for Kaguya. I'm, I'm very happy. I really have no complaints with how they did this DLC. It's just going to see how this implements actually in the game. But yeah, your boy was right about that. So let's see hey, if we can keep the streak going with predicting these DLCs the right way. But let me know in the comments how y'all feel about Kaguya coming. Range types, make sure y'all check in down below. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one, man. Yeah.